Good morning. Good afternoon or good day. Welcome to my channel, Jewelry Pirate. This is Barbara. Um, I hope you've been enjoying the content that I've been posting. I've enjoyed putting it up. And today I'm coming on with another Midwest bag. This one appears to be black and white. I'm hoping I can get through it um, in one video. We will see. Please don't forget to smash the thumbs up button for me, please. It would be so appreciated if you would do so. Um, if you're new to the Jewelry Pirate channel, think about subscribing. Um, I put out a fair amount of content and um, post some interesting things about jewelry and share um, the video with friends that would also be interested in seeing um, what I have to offer here. The channel's small, but it's friendly. And also, don't forget to hit the um, notification bell in case you would like to be informed when we do a new video. Okay, this is the bag. Okay, like I said, it looks like it appears to be a lot of black and white and some gold tone. All right, so we'll open that up. Let me grab a, get a little bit of this out. Oh, I have no idea what's in here. I haven't looked at it. And Okay, let's do that much right there for now. And we'll do the rest of it. You have to get through this. Now, in the last video, or the last group of videos, um, just a couple updates. I finally figured out how to open up this, and it is a watch, okay? But I'm still not going to offer it for sale yet because it's not working, and I can't figure out how to get into it to put a new battery in it. So until I do that, it's really adorable. Um, I won't uh, offer it for sale because either I can put a battery in it um, and it works. It's beautiful. So that's the update on that. Now, I also have um, this really, really pretty bracelet. This is something that I forgot. Okay, when I did the earrings, there was three pieces of jewelry that um, um, were, I forgot about doing, that were along with the earrings. Okay, so this is a really, really pretty bracelet. Long gold tone. Just needs a little bit of cleaning. Great shape. Lobster claw clasp. Okay, and it's very funky. Okay. I think it's a very nice bracelet. All right. Um, I'm going to put that right here. And then I have a really beautiful stick pin. I don't see a name on this. Okay. But it is really, really beautiful. Um, it's got a bunch of pavade stones in there. Uh, from what I can test, it's, I don't think that they're diamonds. Um, but it's so unique and so different, it's really pretty. So we're going to put that over there with the watch. And the last thing from the last video is this really nice... Um, i got to try to... Here it is. got to make sure i got my loop here and my rag and all that stuff. Um, a really nice brooch. And this is definitely a Monet. Okay, it's really pretty. Um, let me fix my ruler here. All right, it is three inches long. Three inches going this way. I'm not going to bother measuring it this way because um, it's, you know, it's very irregular. So, very, very pretty bow Monet brooch. Excellent condition. Okay, let's start with what we have here. See what we got with the new bag. And I'm going to try to do prices with this, if I can. All right. There's always got to be something tangled up. 
All right, let me get that out of there. That's good. Okay, let me see what I have here. Okay, this is a fairly long necklace. It's gold and black. It's got enamel. All right. Um, this is um, a little bit over 18 inches. So it's going to hang down on your collar. It's pretty. This is what it looks like. I have to wipe it down. There looks like there might be some, um, a little bit of, let me see here, what happens when I, oh no, this is going to clean up beautifully once I clean it up. There's no marks on it. You can see right here where I shined it up. It's perfect. Okay, so um, let's see. It has, um, Hang on here. It has the toggle. It's really a pretty necklace. These are what the individual pieces look like. This is the one that I cleaned right here. It's really shiny. So let's do this really pretty necklace for $8. It's heavy. And it's pretty. The enameling is gorgeous on it. And um, if you want to make a little bit of a statement, I think you'll do well with this piece. Okay. All right. Next piece. Let me see. I don't want to get all... Um, let's do this little one here. Here's a little tiny, tiny little leaf brooch. Um, nothing... It's, it's, it's older by the thing that's on the back, but it's nothing really special. Just a pure little costume piece that would be really great on a turtleneck or on a cow neck. Um, let's do $2 on this little, little brooch. Okay. Now, let's see what this is. Let's hope this is a nice statement piece. This is in beautiful condition. We just got to make sure that it's everything is there. The um, lobster claw clasp itself is the only thing. Let me check this out for a second. Give me a minute. Yes, the lobster claw clasp itself um, has gone down a little bit to the copper. Not much. Let me see here. I can get this on here. This is some heck of a statement piece. And this has to be attached here. Let me see. Hmm. I'm going to have to figure this out. That is that. There's a jump ring here. It doesn't look like that should even be there from what I can gather. There's not one over here. It's the same. This is what it looks like. Okay, it's really beautiful. Um, yeah, I don't see where this could have come off of. Maybe right there. That's it, right there. I'll put that back on. Okay, this is absolutely gorgeous. Let me see here. Let's look it over and see how the rhinestone situation is. Looks good to me. How about you guys? You see anything? I don't. Um, let's make. Let's do this. This pretty one for eight dollars, and I will put that piece together. There's no, um, no tag. It's got a nice um, long extender with a bead, a teardrop bead at the bottom. 
All right, so we have that. I think that's very pretty, and I will take care of that. All right. Now, we got another brooch. And uh, this has some wear. It's a big flower. You can see in the back here, there's, cut, there's nothing on the front. There's a little bit missing off of the thing, off of the, the ends of the leaves. And this moves. It's got that kind of a clasp. Um, let's do, because it's got a little bit of wear, let's do $2 on this really old brooch. Okay. Now, let's see what this is. This is nice and old. It's got a very old clasp on it. This needs a good wiping down. But this is pretty. And um, this is 17 inches. And this is the clasp that's on it. It's like an S-hook, but it's kind of unique in brushed silver. All right. And that's that. And this is done in black with gold. These are outlined in the gold material. Okay. Um, how about six on this? This is very pretty. And it's, it's old. I think some of these might be glass. I'm not totally positive. But uh, it's just different. It's different from a lot of stuff that I've seen. All right. You have the two little beads here. Okay, let me give you a close-up. I gave you the measurement. Very, very, very pretty. Like I said, this just needs a good cleaning, and it's going to come, come right up like new. Okay, all right, put that over here. Now we got a biggie. This has got a spring ring clasp on it. Oh, this is a big necklace. Uh, I would say that this is 28 inches. Okay, I'm going to try to get this on Bertha. Yeah, we could do it. Okay, this is definitely large in charge. Remember, um, 28 inches. It has these big, large, these feel cold. Even these do, but I think these are acrylic. All the other beads here and coming around the neck are in an oval, silver tone um, bindings. has these unique little disc beads down at the bottom. These things here are nice and heavy. This is a pretty necklace. These are um, like a nugget style. Um, let's do this one for eight. I think it's well worth eight dollars. It's not new. The condition is really nice okay it's large it's in charge really pretty 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 necklace okay let's see what we got here oh we have a cha-cha necklace here you go little pearls these are acrylic there's rhinestones in here um, Really nice stretches, good. Okay, looks like all the rhinestones are in all the cups. Um, looks good to me. It's even got chatons. It's got a name. Let me give you a name. What's on here? Oh, I hope everybody's having a really, really great day. Still cold here. This is Ann Taylor, and here's your, the piece. See all the chatons and dipped pearls are mixed sizes, and then there's these teardrops. Let's do this really pretty, nice, heavy, uh, well-made cha-cha bracelet for $5. Okay, next piece. Now, this is cute. And I'm looking for a name on this. This is cute and it's old. Um, this is going to be 16 inches. All right. It's enameled. 
It's very, very, very pretty. Um, it's the kind of necklace that you would want to wear if you want it just something simple to go with a particular outfit, but you want to turn it around, you still want to make a little bit of a statement. This is going to hang at your collar, and it's very pretty. Spring ring clasp on the back here. No extender. I don't see a name on it. Let me look one more time just to be sure. Here's the back. Yeah, I don't see a name. And here's your front with the enameling. It's really pretty. Now, it looks ivory in the um, camera, but it is white. Okay, so we have that beautiful little necklace. All right, now I have another one here, but I don't know exactly what it is. So let's hope it's not tangled. And this one's an over your head. Um, no clasp. And down to the pendant. It's going to be... I'm going to say 30 inches, maybe a little bit more. All right, I'm going to put this on Bertha. And it's very pretty. It's got a great chain on it. Very fine. You have this, which you can slide up, and you, and you will have double. Very, very pretty. And like I said, you'll be able to wear this up close to your neck, or you can bring it down far to go with a sweater. Nice slide on it. Okay, let's do this pretty necklace with the great chain and the great condition that it's in for $4. Okay, I'll give you a close-up of your, your pieces here and the chain as best as I can. All right, it's very pretty, very long great condition okay now we got one more older necklace here this also has a spring ring clasp this is very old it's also dirty all right um, it's acrylic and um, it's it needs to be cleaned it's gold toned beads okay with the black beads and these pearl shapes oops and the back here's your clasp let me get this off of here because it's not cooperating it doesn't want to play with me today here's your your clasp your spring ring clasp um it's a, done very very nice at the top all right it needs a good cleaning let's do this piece here this nice old old piece for four dollars Okay, all right, let me get some more out of the bag. Hopefully, we'll be able to get through this whole bag. All right, all right I got everything out of the bag now. Let's see what we have. All right. This is different. Let me get straighten this out. I don't know what this is called. Um, I'm going to give you a measurement. I've never seen a necklace like this before. I'm looking for a name or something on here, and there is something. Let me see what it says. Now, what is this here? Wow, it's really a long... Let me give me just one more second. I'm sorry it's taking me so long. All right. Wool. And I think it definitely says Germany, but I'm not sure if it says Western West Wall in Germany. Okay. Let me put this on Bertha. And you can see this is really pretty. This is going to be this 
You can wear this as a choker or you can wear this as a collar necklace. Um, these are all little tiny little black flowers. This is really sweet. I have it to the end of the extender right now. That was the measurement that I gave you. Hope you can see this. It's very, very different. And it's German. So let's do this piece. How about eight? And I will give this a good cleaning. Even the end of the extender has a really, really nice decoration with the little flowers. Okay. All right. Let's see what else we have here. All right. Let's put this one to the side. Okay. I have a watch. Um, I don't see a name. This looks like it's brand new. And it still has the tag in here. I don't see a name. This would be Christmas. It's a clamper. This is pretty. Brand new condition. All right. Since it's new, I will check to make sure that it works. Okay. And it's a good Christmas watch. Um, you can see there's not any marks or anything on this watch at all. Um, it's no scratching, no plating issues, and it still has the tag in here that needs to be taken out and pulled, and I will check that. Let's do this pretty, pretty, pretty watch here. See, when she's here, it causes problems. Here you go. Let's do this watch for $8. Okay, let's get the next piece. I have another watch. Now, this one is a bracelet watch and the name on this is Oscar de la Renta and it's not working right now I'm gonna have to check it out this is a pretty watch okay it says Oscar de la Renta there and it has the initials over here and the insignia. And it's brand new. It's got the plastic still on the back. And it has the Oscar de la Renta. I'm going to look this up to get an idea so that I don't charge too much or too little. And I will update you on this if you're interested in it in the comments. So this is pretty. Okay. Um, the little thing is gone on it, but... There's not a scratch, a mark, or anything on the face. And like I said, the black has still got the plastic on it. Very, very pretty Oscar de la Renta watch. Costume, of course. Okay. Have a bobble. Stretch bracelet. Stretch is clean and good. Okay. Big black beads. Let's do that for $2. All right. I've got a nice twisted bangle here all right and uh let's do this for a dollar can't beat that i got a necklace that's apart here so i'm gonna have to okay this came from kohl's it's mud all right and i gotta make a trip out today and i dreading doing that if i don't go today i'll go tomorrow this is done in a flat antique silver it's not a shiny silver it's by mud um it's got a pair of earrings still has the tags um let's do this mud necklace it's very long i would say it's probably 24 inches at least let's do this for four dollars okay now we have, hmm, this I got to check too, but I don't think so. Um, this is very pretty. This has got some cloisonne beads on it. Well, we'll just sell it. All right, everything on here, there's, I don't know, this is, this is definitely cinnabar right there. This might be just plastic, but this is definitely a piece of cinnabar. Really nice cloisonne beads. There's a couple of those. Um, 
There's these beads here. This is very, very pretty bracelet. Um, I don't see a name. Let's do four dollars on this. Okay. And here we have a very pretty scarf clip. Okay. And it's right here. And it can also be used, besides being a, a, a scarf clip, it can be used as a brooch. I have no idea. I can't make head or tails. You let me know what those initials are on there. Needs a good cleaning. All right. I don't think there are initials. I think it's just a pattern. So let's do two dollars on this pin slash scarf clip. All right. Now we have a really long, large, and in charge, older. I'm going to measure it for you. This has got to go somewhere because this is all coming apart. Oops, here go some of the beads. It's a shame. All right, that's to there. All right. This is um, thirty inches. Here's your spring ring clasp. This is graduated with a mixture of different beads. Very old. Um, in great shape. Okay, it's got a little bit of here and there, but I think most of this is gonna it's just dirt. It's gonna come off. Let me see here. What about this? Yeah. Okay. Um really pretty. All right gold tone in between and we'll clean this up really well let's do this really beautiful old necklace it's heavy all right i it, it's cool to the touch but i still think it's acrylic all right let's do this for eight dollars all right what is this all right this is a little tangled right now which I'm gonna have to work on um, wow these beads are all over the place I'm just gonna put that right in the can all right I'm gonna show you this and I gotta untangle it this is the pendant everything is here beautiful enamel work it's got a name on it KC. All right. It has the ultra suede and a silver tone with a nice long extender, lobster claw. And uh, let's do this pretty, pretty, pretty necklace in great shape for $2. Okay. Let's see what we have here. Let's see if this is in, in shape. This is a Claire's neck, a Claire's anklet. All right. This is definitely an anklet. All right. It's very, very delicate. It's three strands. All right. If you like anklets, these are all individually done. All right. It has a little bit of wear. Let's do this really pretty anklet for just two dollars. All right. Now, let's look what this is. I'm looking for a name. I don't see any. This has wear, but it is pretty. Very nice statement piece. I'll get these all out of the way. Okay. It's got rhinestones, rhinestones, rhinestones. All right. Um, fold over clasp in the back. Um, it has a minimal amount of wear. It's not it's not bad right now it looks pretty dull because it needs to be cleaned and wiped down um like i said it has a fold over clasp all right you can look at it yourself still gold okay where the wear is is a little bit in the back 
but again, it's not anything um, really bad. And it is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous necklace. So I'll give you a close up. And it will be clean and sanitized, of course. Really pretty, pretty, pretty piece. I've got my work cut out for me today with cleaning on this bag. Okay, let's do this beautiful necklace with the big large crystals in it for five dollars. All right. Now I have. Uh, let's see who this is. This is Monet. Wow. It's new because it still has part part of the tag on it for the um. I can't believe how dirty this bag of jewelry is. P um, part of the price tag that was on it. And it has um, all its rhinestones. Okay, Oops, I don't have it in the last. You're going to see, it looks, it looks like a hair, but it's not. All right, right here. That's the string where the tag was. Here's the Monet. And then it has the M in the little square box down at the bottom. Very pretty. Measurement wise. Um, let me see here. Sometimes you get these and they're harder to, to, to do. This is going to be um, 15 inches. So this is definitely a necklace that's going to go right up around your neck. Alright, but you've got at least a two inch extender on the bottom of on the back of it so you'll be able to extend this so it'll just touch your collarbone this is very very pretty okay simple elegant pretty monet necklace six dollars okay now we have another watch and this one is a capizio uh, it's got a fold over clasp and uh, it's got a pretty face with a mo pre pretty face with a mother of pearl face. No, it's not working. Um, this looks like more of a silvery tone in the middle here um, where the fold over clasp. Let me open this up and we can look inside of it. All right. Right, take a look at that and tell me what you think. It's a pretty watch with a red face. All right. And I'm pretty sure, yes, that says Capizio. Okay. Um, I'll check and see if I can get it to work. But if you want it as is, very nice bracelet watch. Um, let's do five on this. It's really actually very pretty. Okay. I have a... A little, I don't know why they put this clasp on here. Um, hematite bracelet. Cute. One dollar. Okay. Now, let's see what this is. If there's any name inside of this. I don't see any name. Um, I would say that this is probably a seven. Oh little ring with red enameling one dollar I have this which is a pinky ring it's just black and gold very tiny I would say this is probably a four let me see exactly a four I don't know if this is let me see if my hands are cold so I can't do a good job of wow it is changing it's changing almost into um, the look of a tiger eye now it's turning green so it is a mood ring good for a pinky we'll do that for a dollar now I have a bag here with some oh this goes with the Capizio watch all right there's um Four more faces. There's a green face, a black face, 
and then a gold face. So these will go with the watch. All right, very pretty. Okay, I'll throw those in with the watch because they belong to it. Just three more pieces. No, four more pieces. All right. Then we did get through this bag. Now, this says, number one mom. There's a rose here. Let me fix this. Okay, let's see if I can get that in there. All right. All right, let's just, this is just a simple little mom piece. Mother's Day is coming up. $2 for that. And we have this. Um, I don't see a name on this. Um, I think that this might have had, maybe not, because I don't see no glue or anything in there. Um, this is another rose. Okay, it's, let's do this one for two dollars. Okay, brooch. All right, last piece I have here. There's a seed bead necklace. Let me see what the length is on this. This is 16 inches, plus it's got a 2 inch extender. And here we go. All right. Um, very pretty. And uh, it's got the caps, the bell caps on the top with gold, silver beads. There's your extender. And we'll do that for three dollars. And that's it. Okay. And the only other thing is this poor necklace here that's all in pieces, which is gonna go into the uh I don't know. I don't do really do major bead lots, although these are kind of different. So I think this is just gonna go into the uh I hate it, the trash. Okay, so that's what we have for this video today. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget the thumbs up. Smash that like button, please. Totally appreciate it. And again, if you're watching for the first time, think about subscribing to the Jewelry Pirate channel. Um, we're small. Well, we have this too. A little um, heart pen for a dollar. Um, Share the video with your friends. Let them know that the channel exists. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. And remember, if you're not getting your notifications, unclick that bell and re-click it. Sometimes that puts you back into the, um, of getting your notifications. Sometimes it, it, it's not, it's not that it doesn't cease to work, but you'll get your notifications later. So if you want to be where you're getting them closer, try doing that every once in a while. It definitely will help. Okay, that's it. Like I said, thank you so much for watching. Appreciate it more than you ever know. I hope everybody has a wonderful, wonderful day. I want you to stay safe, happy, and healthy. And above all else, take care of yourselves. Go for a walk today. It's freezing here in New York. I'm not going to be going for a walk, but if you're in a good place, go for a walk because it's always good to get out and about. All right. I'll take care, everyone, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.